All right, YouTube. We're about to start round one of the Legacy Challenge. Taking in Lawrence Harmon's deck list. Because if you want deck list and Legacy, that's what you do. So I cut one card. I added another Diabolic Edict. Because I just want more cards against the Merit Lage decks. So I've got three ways to answer Merit Lage after sideboard. So that's where I want to be with two Dead Gods and two Edicts. But yeah, the rest of it's pretty self explanatory. So now we're just hanging out. Did you turn down my tempo? Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. You gotta be, you gotta like focus. You gotta be good. You gotta be in it. You know? It's tough to do. It is tough to do. Is it this exact list? Okay, so we're on the draw. We have some interaction in Delver, so we're going to keep. Uh, we could be, like, pretty weak to, like, an Elves deck with this kind of matchup here. Obviously, we're weak to turn one Chalice. All right. Noble Hierarch's kind of nerve-wracking, just because it's going to make my dazes worse. So we just have to hope they kind of jam something in. Like, we want them to jam their three drops. It's a good deck. It's better than I thought it was. If we could daze this and have our Delver flip to Lightning Bolt, that would be gas. We're not going to daze anything. They have, like, an Abrupt Decay, the Ponder, okay. It's a good Wasteland from them. They're ahead on Mana Advantage. The board's at parity, but... You know, they've got an advantage with that. We move this a little bit. Another Noble Hierarch. So I'm likely going to end up holding. What did they do? They did not shuffle. All right, no, we're not going to flip that. And I'm going to attack, but I'm not going to crack. I'm not going to play another Delver because we, if we uh, get Wastelanded again, we're in a lot of trouble. Hopefully they just go like land Jace. Which Leovold. Alright, um Leovold's tough. I think we're gonna get a a Valk here. And we're gonna look for a force. We found a force. We didn't find a land though, so we're brainstorm locked. We got to put back so that we're going to flip. And we probably just go days, days. Or we can pitch a days. Yeah, I'm going to put. I'm going to go like this. No, I want to be able to daze their next spell. So let's put brainstorm on top. And let's force Leovold pitching a days. No, I'm going to pitch... Because, uh, like, they go Counterspell, we Daze, and if they Force, then we want another Daze. I'm going to pitch this Delver. Which is probably means I stack this wrong. I'm going to lose a Threat, but I have a Brainstorm on top. Okay, wow. That's nice. And here, I'm just, I'm just going to counter anything that I can. Like, this Daze isn't going to be that good, and we get to use it here, which is nice. So our Delver's going to flip. And we get in here. I think we're going to end of turn Brainstorm, even though that's pretty weak, because we would like to find a second land in order to... Uh, in order to play this young pyromancer. Yeah, my moto's already a little laggy this morning. Uh, we get wrecked by like an assassin's trophy here, I guess, but. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to use the ability so that I get a shuffle so that the cards are shuffled that are underneath. That like I, I get to look at just fresh cards. All right, Wasteland's okay. So put both of these Thoughtseize back. This, uh, because we have a dead draw next turn. So this young Pyromancer is going to have to do some work for us. We have to hope that they don't find another Wasteland. And again, we're going to daze anything just to get a token at this point. I can, restrict, I can restrict them down to three mana on my turn, which is probably worth it. Like, I'm probably just going to Wasteland, and then on, like, their upkeep, I'm going to Dead Gone one of these. Because then it might make my days better. All right, well, now we're just going to daze this and return this. Even though we don't get to, uh, even though we don't get to, uh, like, it would be nice to be able to shuffle our deck to not have a dead draw next turn, but, like, you know, such is life. So let's crack in here. I'm going to waste this Bayou and dead gone one of these. Because they likely have some pretty expensive spells in their deck. And like this just makes a token. And we don't even we don't have a true name nemesis. And I'm gonna waste them on their upkeep. And again, they only have one card. So alright, they hit another land. Tilt. All we want at this point is cantrips. We want like ponder into lightning bolt or something like that. All right, Daze is, Daze is like not that bad. My opponent got punished for trying to cheese me out of the game with this Falk instead of trying to kill my Empiromancer, which was likely a little loose. Like they just played, um, I can just Daze this and make a token because they're gonna take the Daze. So let's just make a token. This means we don't get wastelanded. Also. I should have the cardboard live. It should be up there. If it's not, then I'll check it out there, Lawrence. I'm playing your deck, Lawrence. Talked about it at the beginning of the YouTube video. Oh, they're on block duty. I wonder if it's correct to not even play my land. So they block here. They go to one. I'm not even going to play my land because if I draw Lightning Bolt now, I can just play it and bolt them and I don't get Wastelanded. How do you want the display? 10 out of 10 recommend using it as an overlay. Okay, so I, yeah, I need to look into that. Yeah, so we're going to hold on to it. Okay, so we're playing against some like four color or some Leovold big mana deck with Wastelands. So like our dazes likely are not going to be that good. Um, it's like Di boarding in Diabolic Edict against the Noble Hierarch deck sounds kind of bad, but like they could also have True Name. Let's bring these in. I think my soft counters are going to be pretty poor. Especially when I'm on the draw. So, like, I might try to look for some more cards. Like, I, like, these cards I don't really want in my deck. I might not be able to cut all of them. But I don't really want them. <clears throat> Flusterstorm. Again, they're like a creature-based deck, so I don't really want Flusterstorm. Vendillion Click's just a thing. You think Spell Pierce is solid? If 
it's about control style that I think it is. Yeah, I don't know what the deck looks like. I kind of want my blasts. I want last hope to be able to grind, and I want bitter blossom. Yeah, Pierce is good against Thalos and Jace. You're right there. I could see just doing this. That's what I was talking about with March Casualties. I guess against the Noble Hierarch deck, and it also kind of hedges me against Trinity Nemesis. So they got like Blossom, and they have Noble, and they had Strix, TNN. They have Baleful Strix. I kind of don't like having Gurmag Angler in my deck. Could leave in eight days to keep him honest. I would like to be able to cut this card, I think. And maybe Click's better, because like Click clocks in the air, doesn't get bogged down by Noble Hierarch. I'm going to try this. This might not be right, but, you know... I'm going to give it a whirl. You like Gurmag? I tend to dislike Gurmag Angler against Baleful Strix decks, but like Baleful Strix just kind of gets me anyways. I could have shaved some Force of Wells, but like with my days is not being as good. I didn't really want to do that. This hand's like, whatever. You're not going to mulligan a hand like this pretty much ever. Okay. Drago. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not overvaluing. I'm going to... I think I'm going to... So what does this mean? We can force a Sylvan Library. Well, this is loose. This is really loose for me. And I've cracked my fetch, so I'm going to do it. I should have just let them do this because it's such a shitty brainstorm. But it could... Then leading on Island could mean they're short on mana. And if they force this... Infinite X ones. Lawrence. My Delvers always flip. All right. So they're not infinite X ones. I don't need your. I don't need you doubting my. I don't need you doubting my Delvers. I think. I think I'm gonna waste this. Even though I would like to march myself up to Trinity Nemesis, I think just casting TNN on an empty board is not very good. And we have two more lands in our deck, so if they waste us then it's okay. And they don't have a Noble Hierarch draw. So, like, our Mana Denial might be decent here. And I don't have anything I really want to cast. Like, I like the cards in my hand. I could ditch this or this. I do, too. Them, them, them leading on Island and brainstorming EOT. And they didn't even... So they're brainstorm locked, also. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's play this Flooded Strand. I'm going to bring some of my upkeep. So I only have two Spell Pierces left in my deck. So one Spell Pierce left, and I'm not going to force this. So I think we're just going to let this go. Again, this is like kind of a shitty Brainstorm because they don't get to fetch... Like, they still have to redraw one of their cards. And they've only seen one... They only see two new cards off of that. That's not a bad draw. Um, so I could brainstorm. If I brainstorm, I could hit, I could shuffle away like this and this. I kind of don't want to do anything. But, like, not doing anything kind of feels bad. Okay. So I think we just shuffle back two of these lands. Play this, getting our red source, then just pass. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. Okay, blue-green. So we're going to fetch in our upkeep. We're going to get a black... And I'm... I think I'm just jamming True Name Nemesis because, like, it's going to get a force of will out of them. Now I kind of want to just play Lava Mancer. If I jam True Name, my force of will is useless. 
Maybe I should have shuffled away that, but I had so many lands. <clears throat> yeah, they don't have black, so like they can't edict it. I'm just gonna play it. I think it's the highest upside. If they go like if they go land, like we're gonna get a two for one out of this, or they need to go land diabolic edict. And then next turn we can play Lava Man and just protect and it like insulates us from Diabolic Edict. That's a good draw too. So let's just start by attacking. I want to like put pressure on them, but I also want to be cautious cautious because I feel so far ahead that I don't want to like lose myself from something weird here. Okay, I kind of want to just put this back. In, I could just put two lands back. Probably that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to put two lands back. Play this. Play Lava Man. I could shuffle and preordain, but like, I don't exactly, like my hand's pretty set, so I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'd like to keep it for the force. You would brainstorm? It ended up being kind of an awkward brainstorm. Okay, so they ditched their own TNN. I kind of want the second red. And if I want the if I wanted the second red, I should ditch my Marsh casualties. Because if I have second red, I can start lava manning and bolt. But like the odds of me needing the lava man and bolt are kind of loose. And it will be nice just to like just to protect that. Alright, so we hit our second red. So let's start by attacking. I'm likely going to use Lava Man this turn, so I'm not going to attack with it. Yeah, I shouldn't have brain. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I ended up just clearing off the top of my deck, basically. All right, we don't want these. We don't want these. Um, and again, I think we're in the same spot where I can just hold hold this ponder to pitch the four so I don't get like deluged out. You wouldn't have done anything. You'd have just like chilled out for that entire turn. Uh, what are the odds they have Tarmogoyf? Hang on. So they have creature... I can get rid of my sorcery. So let's get rid of my sorcery. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right, Lawrence. So now we'll just chill. EOT, get a Valk. I kind of want to fetch and get a Valk now. Because if my opponent has to fetch to kill something, the Lava Mancer and the True Day Nemesis are guaranteed two turn clock. There's also reason. I'm going to fetch right now while they can't kill this. Because like, it would kind of feel bad if they killed this with the fetch land on the stack. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right, so here comes the deluge. They have to pay one, go to seven, go to four, and if they go to five, and if they fetch, they did. This is all three modes. I kind of want to force this. Because what they're going to do, they're probably going to take, like, my Ponder. I'm going to force this. Yeah, I agree with you, Lawrence. Because, like, this has to be... And now they're dead, right? Because we go, bang. They're just dead on the board. G G O P.
Well, they're not dead on the board, but they're dead in my lightning bolt. Is it correct for me to do it on their turn? They can go like Decay, Flusterstorm, Bolt. That's three spells. I still pay and Lava Man them. <sighs> yeah, Waste Your Fetch Land. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it in their upkeep. But we can still pay for Flusterstorm, right? Because, like, what do they do? They go Abrupt Decay, then we go Bolt, Abrupt Decay, Flusterstorm. Three spells. Bolt, pay one, two, three, still have Lava Man. So they might just tap out, too. And maybe there's a weird set of cards that kills them. Oh, I didn't think about Pulsa Morasa. Yeah, that card wasn't on my radar. You're right. I should have I should have definitely done it on that turn then, Lawrence. All right, let me stop my video.